A roustabout on an oil rig is typically an entry-level worker responsible for various manual labor tasks on the rig. These tasks can include general maintenance, cleaning, assisting with the drilling and production process, and handling equipment. Roustabouts are essential for keeping the rig running smoothly but often have physically demanding and sometimes dirty job responsibilities. Over time, they may gain experience and move up to more specialized roles in the oil and gas industry. Most of the companies will ask the following questions during your interview as a roustabout. 1. What are the duties and responsibilities of roustabouts? Oil rig roustabouts have a variety of duties and responsibilities on offshore drilling platforms. Some of their key tasks include, 1. General maintenance. Roustabouts are responsible for the upkeep and maintenance of the rig's equipment, structures, and facilities. 2. Loading and unloading. They assist in loading and unloading equipment, supplies, and materials onto and from the rig. 3. Cleaning and painting. Roustabouts perform cleaning and painting tasks to keep the rig in good condition and prevent corrosion. 4. Rigging operations. They assist in rigging and moving heavy equipment and machinery as needed. 5. Handling cargo. Roustabouts operate cranes and forklifts to move cargo and supplies around the rig. 6. Safety compliance. They must adhere to safety regulations and protocols to ensure a safe working environment. 7. Assisting drilling crew. Roustabouts support the drilling crew by handling drilling tools and materials and maintaining the drilling area. 8. Environmental compliance. They help with environmental protection measures, such as cleaning up oil spills or managing waste properly. 9. Watch duties. Some roustabouts may be assigned watch duties to monitor and report any unusual conditions or incidents. 10. Emergency response. Roustabouts are trained to respond to emergencies and may assist in firefighting and evacuation procedures. These responsibilities are crucial for the smooth operation of an oil rig and the safety of the crew. Number 2. Did you ever done chemical mixing in rig and if so what chemicals did you use? The chemicals used for mixing are barite, bentonite, caustic soda, polymers, gel, sodium chloride, sodium silicate, potassium chloride, ammonium chloride etc. What are lifting gears and what types of lifting gears are used in rig? Lifting gears, also known as lifting equipment or lifting devices, come in various types to facilitate the movement of heavy loads. Some common types used in rig are cranes, hoists, forklifts, winches, jacks, slings, shackles and hooks, pallet lifters etc. 4. What is permit to work or PTW? What are the types of PTW? A permit to work. PTW is a formal written system used in to ensure that potentially hazardous work is carried out safely. The permit to work process involves a series of steps and documents that help identify and control risks associated with specific tasks or activities. Types of commonly used PTW are cold work permits, hot work permits, confined space permits, electrical work permits, work at height permits, and more. 5. What is PPE? PPE stands for Personal Protective Equipment. It includes items such as safety helmets, safety goggles, coverall, hand gloves, safety shoes etc. PPE is essential in preventing injuries. What would you do if you noticed a safety hazard while working on an oil rig? If I noticed a safety hazard while working on an oil rig, my first priority would be to ensure the safety of everyone in the area. I would immediately alert my supervisor and any other personnel who need to be made aware of the situation. After that, I would assess the situation and take the appropriate steps to control it. This could include shutting down equipment, isolating the hazardous area, or taking other measures to reduce the risk.